On December 12, 2015, after intense UN talks at COP21 in Paris, 195 nations agreed the world's first universal climate accord to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius and 1.5 degrees Celsius if possible. It's the culmination of two decades of diplomacy over how to divide responsibility and financing between rich and developing nations, between the worst polluters and countries most vulnerable to climate change. Developing countries are set to receive a minimum of $100 billion a year from 2020 when the deal takes effect. Since the first Summit on Sustainable Development in 1972 in Stockholm, environmental issues have slowly crept up the international agenda. The 1992 Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro laid the foundations of green diplomacy. It resulted in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Every year since 1995, the Conference of Parties to the Convention, known as COP, brings together signatory states to try to combat climate change by reducing emissions. This annual summit also formed the basis for 1997's Kyoto Protocol. The treaty committed 37 industrialised countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to 5.2% against 1990 levels by 2012. But no restrictions were imposed on developing countries like China and India, despite both being significant polluters. In 2009, COP15 in Copenhagen failed to deliver a new global treaty. It ended instead with a non-binding agreement to take action to keep temperature increases below 2 degrees Celsius without explaining how this would happen. The COP17 summit in 2011 resulted in the Durban Platform for Enhanced Action, committing countries including the United States and China to deliver a new legally binding agreement in 2015. 